Welcome back. The second supermoon of 2021 will bring with it a cosmic phenomenon tomorrow morning. The only total lunar eclipse all year. They always have a great name, don't they? This is late tonight. We can see the super flower blood moon. It'll grace the night sky, marking the second of three super moons that we'll see this year. Now, according to the Farmer's Almanac, this moon gets its name because of the abundance of springtime flowers in the northern hemisphere around this time. May is also the time when farmers begin to seed their fields after hard frosts have ended. The full moon will appear slightly larger than normal because it will reach perigee or the closest point to Earth in its orbit, making it a super moon. According to NASA, the best viewing of the eclipse won't be here. It'll be in Hawaii, Alaska and the western U.S. For central and eastern parts of the U.S., we'll still be able to see it. The eclipse will begin during dawn twilight, though, so your view not be, might not be quite as good. No matter where you are, though, sky watchers around the globe will be able to see it if they have clear weather conditions. If you don't happen to be in an optimal viewing area, there will be several free live views of the eclipse online on Wednesday. Now, this is the first of only two lunar eclipses this year. A partial lunar eclipse will also occur on November 19th. For our local forecast during the time of the event, check out Mark Pena's new weather blog. He just posted it on KXAN.com.